greetings. I think I better move this plant before I read my story. But I just wanted to show you how nice it is to have a plant. Anyway, I wrote two storybooks a few years ago. And one is for girls and one is for boys. Which one should I read first? Girls first. Girls always first. So here it is. Let me unwrap it. This is a piece of a curtain. It's good to upcycle. This is the back of the book. And of course, I drew the pictures. And this is the front. OK. Princess, daughter of a king. How to be a real princess. Now, I wrote this in 2002. And that was, let me see, how long ago was that? I'll let you do the math. Math is very important. I still use it every day. In fact, I use math more than I use my mask. OK. This book is for girls age 7 and up. Now let me see. How old is a girl who's I mean, what grade is a girl in who's seven? Let me see. <laughs> I think a seven-year-old is in the second grade. This book is for girls age seven and up. OK. As future leaders, mothers, Wives, they need help making positive choices. And help is great. The earlier in life, the better. Let me see. Girls are, are girls part of nature? Yes, of course, people are part of nature. And I think little girls are meant to be princesses. Learning how to think, speak, and act can help one find much happiness in life. The main thing I'm trying to share is that you know how very special you are. And here's a picture of a crown on a pillow. OK. Now, being a princess, here's a princess wearing a hat, looking at a picture of a castle. Now, being a princess does not mean living in a castle, having fancy clothes, a big house, a lot of toys, or very fancy exotic pets. Mm -mm. When it doesn't mean people bowing down to you either, it does mean having honorable clothes clothes of dignity, a home and toys that you give thanks for, that you appreciate, and most important, that, pe that you are known for someone who, who's nice, known among your family, your friends, your classmates, your neighbors. 
Now, what is honorable clothing? It's clothing that's, that's clean, that you picked out, that um, is dignified, and that just makes people look at it and, and say, wow, you really look so nice. Now, it doesn't mean the clothes have to be expensive, but they should be clean. They should be ironed. They shouldn't have any tears in it. I mean, you can fix it, or someone uh, in your family can help fix it. And here's a picture of a young lady in a library reading a book about having good manners. I'm turning the page. And the most important thing about feeling like a princess is acting like one. Um, and somebody who not only cares for other people, but cares for animals, even insects, plants, even ladybugs and caterpillars and bees. Remember, bees make honey. Here's this page's picture. And that is a magnifying glass. By the way, drawing pictures is a wonderful thing. And sometimes you could tell people more information by drawing a picture of it instead of using words. And I know there's some children who don't like to practice writing, especially cursive writing, script, you know, that flowing writing. But that, if you like artwork, you have to love writing because you're, you're drawing a word, you're, you're drawing a thought. Think about it. So, do you want people to think you're a princess? No. No, 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 no. That would be like, like bragging. So, a princess acts kind, friendly, studious, fair, helpful, Humble, wise, clean, careful, thoughtful, brave, strong, and never, 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 never tells a lie, and never, never, never is mean to anybody. I think you'll like this picture. It looks like they're watching a circus parade. You see how much fun it is to draw pictures? Okay. What else does a princess do? I think she acts in a way that makes people think well of not only her, but her family, her country, her friends. And acting well, um, it's not just clothes, but it's also your words, your attitude, the look on your face, your tone of voice, your decisions. Everything, everything reflects on, on you and on your family and on all the other things in your life. And you wouldn't want to make someone else look bad by you acting bad. I once, um, I've worked in the schools more than once and a little girl that I was helping uh, study in the classroom said, all little girls are pretty. 
And I said to her, not when they don't act pretty. And I said that because she had a habit of being angry and, and yelling at people. And um, I wanted her to think about it. And this page's picture is somebody getting ready to go to sleep for the night and saying some prayers. So it's not always easy acting wonderful like a princess is supposed to act. And sometimes you have to act a little bit strong. Let's say you let's say you saw another child stealing. Would you be acting happy and wonderful and saying nice things? No, you'd have to warn them. You don't have to use anger. You don't have to use bad words. But maybe a serious tone of voice like, that's not good. Don't do that. That hurts people. You look like a nice person, like you don't, wouldn't want to hurt people. So please think about it and don't steal because that would hurt someone. And I don't want you to feel bad when you find out that you really hurt someone by stealing. So that's an example how you don't have to use anger when somebody's doing something bad and you want to warn them. You can still be polite and you can still show you care, but no anger. So, if this happened and you saw someone stealing and you told them not to, the best thing is for them to stop stealing and to give back what they took. And I think this is the last page of the book. And here's the picture. And this picture looks very similar to the cover of the book. I hope you like the little story. I plan to make another video about not princesses, but princes. Think about it. Happy day. Let's go back to the plant.